Alright, welcome back everyone. It has been a while but today's video will be slightly different because I have built something to give back to the community as a way of saying thank you to everyone especially for subscribing and following this channel. And do not waste your time. If you want to know what I've built, go to your Rust project, type in cargo at sparks. S P U X. That's right, I've built a new crate, especially if you are using laptops. But if you're interested in learning what this crate is about, let's jump right into it. And now we are back at Helix. But if we jump to our web browser Chrome here, you can see the newly published crate version 0.1.0 our Sparks crate. So this isn't anything too fancy, but it's something that came out of my own needs and requirements. Yeah, which is a gap that I saw especially in the laptop's ecosystem. So to use any of the loaders that I have added to this crate, let's take a look at the new empty laptops project that we have going on right now. I do apologize for the brightness. You can see that it's very, very empty. And let's go back to Helix. And here we are in our app.rs. You can see if we go to our cargo, we have not added the new crate yet. So let's do that next. Okay, we can say cargo at Sparks. And it should be done soon. And there we have it. And if we go back to our Aptos project again, let me just go to the tone file. You can see at line 19, our new crate that we have published. And to make it more lightweight, I have also made it such that the loaders are divided into two categories, one spinners and two pulses. Right, so obviously I have separated them into different features. So to use either one of them, so either or either spinners or pulses, you do have to include them in these features here to turn it on. Uh, let me just save that. And let's restart using Cargo Laptops Watch. Okay, right now you can see it, but on another terminal, I am running the watch, the cargo laptops watch command on it. Okay, and if we go back to our app.rs here, and now we should be able to do use sparks. Let's try spinners. Okay, actually, yeah, let's do spinners, right? Partial. Circle. So this is one of the loaders that I have added to the first version of this crate. And if we let me search for home page. Yep. Let's go to the home page component. Yeah, there we have it. And to use any of the sparks component, all you have to do is just plug it in. So we have or rather we are going to use the partial circle component and each and every component that is included with sparks requires two props right two necessary props and that is color so color itself takes in a star string so of a valid hex code hex color code if you may and a size in terms of pixels as well. So for now we'll do maybe 13 and let's save this size. Yep. So you can see right off the bat one of the benefits of Rust, right? It's strongly typed in the sense that I've made it such that size is an unsigned 32. So we can pass in 13 a string here, it has to be 13. Save that. 
And now if we go back to our Laptops app on Chrome, and let's refresh this page. You can see all the way above me. You can see me. A, you can see a small spinning circle. It's quite small. Let's make it bigger. So if you go back to Helix, let me just change this to maybe thirty three and save that. So thirty three in this sense will be thirty three pixels. Yeah. So let's refresh that and let's take a look at Chrome. So you can see all the way at the top is our spinning partial circle. So it's nothing too fancy, but once again, it is my way of giving back to the community and giving back to you. Obviously, the source code is also available at the GitHub page, which I'm loading and loaded right now. You can see all the examples or the loaders that I've added for this first version. Okay, for for the spinner categories or spinners category and for for the pulses category. So all the steps that I've just mentioned are all here on the GitHub page. And of course, if you need an example of how to how to use this new library. Uh, especially with laptops and with suspense, you can check out this example in the GitHub page as well. So hopefully this create will be helpful to you. And let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you found it helpful. And as always, do hit that subscribe button if you have not already done so. It will help out this channel a lot. And as always, stay awesome and stay safe everyone. Cheers.